If you know how the world financial system works, you know the game that you're playing. And if you don't know the game and the rules that we're playing by, you're going to get slaughtered. You are going to get slaughtered. Ever since the Federal Reserve was born, we have been living under a lie. In order for us to maintain the levels we've got and to maintain the prosperity, Obama has to be twice as far in debt when he leaves office than when he came in. Or we, the whole thing is starting to collapse. The Federal Reserve, they're buying bonds directly from the Treasury. This is quantitative easing, they're calling it. And that means there's an emergency going on. I could see that there wasn't anything in history, as far as finances go, that it was as much of a sure thing as gold and silver accounting for the expansion of the fiat currency supply. There's absolutely no chance in hell that this won't happen. Right now it takes about fifteen to twenty thousand dollar an ounce gold. I believe that there's going to be deflation first and then all of the world's central banks will start printing like crazy to get us out of that deflation and Ben Bernanke will be leading the charge. And you can't have a debt that is ten times the size of your economy. It's not possible. Everything comes to a screeching halt first. I gotta show you that the world's uh, stock markets and real estate bubbles have to continue crashing because all it is is the market trying to seek fair value. It's trying to seek equilibrium. This is what the markets do. It is their job. Basically, you know, our entire currency system is imaginary. It doesn't really exist. It's just that we're all dreaming the same dream. If anybody chooses to wake up, it's over with. Thank you very much.